Hey, what's going on guys? So this is going to be our second review of our three reviews. This is going to be the Don Ivino Splash It. Um, it's another popper, obviously, and this is kind of uh, in line with those three lures that we were doing with the Strike King Splash and uh, uh, Lobina Rico. And the uh, Don Ivino Splash has, or Splash It, has two sizes. We got the bigger one. They call it the Big Splash It, but on the back of it, it's actually called the Splash It 2. So that's what we'll refer to it as. Um, and just like just like the other two lures, they have a small size and a, and a big size. The small size, which is that quarter ounce Rebel pop bar size that everybody likes, and then the bigger 3 8 ounce size, uh, which is what we have here. So the big Splash It, or the Splash It 2, has a length of two and three quarter inches, has a weight of 3 8 of an ounce, and it's a top water floating style lure. Uh, first thing that, that you notice about this lure, just like the other one, that it has a dress feather trailer hook on it. And it says that it has a chicken feather, which I'm pretty sure that's what pretty much all of them are, uh, unless they're made out of bucktail. Uh, this one has some chrome hooks. Now, it says that they're premium hooks, and it doesn't seem to have a lot of give to it. It seems to be a, a, a strong... A strong hook on there but in my experience chrome hooks generally speaking there probably are some very uh, quality chrome hooks out there but generally speaking the chrome hooks that I've ever run across generally are not very good um, but this one seems to be pretty decent it seems to have a lot of strength to it and like I've said in the past uh, hooks are hooks they're made to be sharp uh, I'm not a judge of sharpness it seems, but it seems to be very sharp lure so or a sharp hook uh, the second thing that you notice about the sliver is the bottom of it, and it's actually pretty cool because the other one here is like this too. It's got this really rough texture that has a lot of glitter in it, and um, unlike the Labina, I mean the Labina has has that glitter in it. This seems to have about twice as much glitter. This one's just covered up by clear coat. This one seems to be like almost mixed in and embedded into some material that is uh, kind of like kind of like the like bed liner in the back of your truck. That's kind of what it, what this stuff feels like. So like when you even when you rub your finger on it, it's not coming off. So uh, it's probably going to have a very good durability to it. So uh, that seems to be a good thing in my opinion because generally where these hooks are, I mean, that seems to really scrape on there. So it seems to be something that they really paid close attention to to make sure that um, that that stays durable down there on the bottom and obviously paying close attention to put that that flash or that glitter flake effect down there on the bottom because that's what the fish is going to see because just like the labina this one sits flat in the water unlike the rebel the rebel sits like this in the water this one sits flat in the water uh you can see on the side of it it has some um, some pattern on it some little diamond pattern on it you can you can kind of feel it. It's underneath the, the clear coat of the bait. Uh, this one is just completely smooth, so I don't know where they're getting that that effect from, but it's pretty much just like this uh, this absolute color. So this one's from the Rico, obviously, though. Uh, this one doesn't come with a, a split ring on the front, just like the Rico. Uh, the Strike King does come with a split ring on the front. For some of you guys that don't know how to uh, tie a loop knot, that might be something uh, that you don't like. You might want a split ring on the front. For me, I used to like split rings. In fact, I got the split ring right here on my Rebel Pop Bar. Uh, but when I started tying loop knots more, I just felt like it was uh, kind of superfluous and it really wasn't needed to have a, a split ring and a loop knot. It just really wasn't necessary. You see, it's got the three-dimensional holographic guys that are kind of inset into the body. The mouth of it really has a lot of paint. In fact, on both of them, they're just, it's almost like they took a brush and just dripped it down in there and just, it's got a really thick red paint on both of them. Um, performance on the water, uh, very good as far as for poppers. You generally don't look for castability. Uh, this popper and the Labina don't cast exceptionally well, especially for a 3 8 or a 7 16 ounce bait, what have you. Uh, the Strike King outcast both of them uh, far and away but I'll get back I'll get into why that one casts better than these ones in that review but I don't really feel like castability in a popper 
is a huge deal. I think it's a big deal in uh, a spook because a spook or a walk the dog style bait is a search bait. I don't think a popper is necessarily, at least I don't use them as a search bait. I'm not, I'm usually running into things like little pockets in the back of a, uh, in the back of a, a cove or something like that, or uh, in the back of some tulies or something, and pitching this bat out in there, popping it a couple of times, and then bringing it back, kind of like you would uh, flip a jig. This is kind of the I use this in the same in the same respect, where I, I will pinpoint cast it, use it a, for a couple twitches, and then bring it right back. Um, so as far as it sitting flat in the water, like I told you guys, this thing. Um, just like the Labina will allow you to pop it four or five, six times in a row uh, without incident, which is a good thing because I mean, if you're if you're one of those people that really like to work the bait fast, or if if it's one of those situations where you feel like it warrants we're working the bait quickly, uh, this bait will actually allow you to do that. So that's actually a, a good thing in my opinion. Uh, the Strike King doesn't do that, and again, I'm going to allow you to, uh, or I'm going to go into that in that review when we get to that one. Um, so castability, eh, not really. Underhand roll cast will definitely help you there. I mean, because it is a bigger bait. Um, has good performance, good good chugging action on the water. Uh, just like the Labina, I mean, the, the popper, the popper style of it is just like any of these other ones. I mean, you look at it uh, up against the Rebel, it's pretty much the same shape. Just like the Strike King, pretty much the same shape just like the Labina. And there are dozens of other ones out there, the Demaki D-Pop, there's, I mean, the Excalibur, there's a whole bunch of them out there that have the same shape. And there's a reason for that, that shape works. It chugs really well, it splashes the water, moves a lot of water out of the way, and they're not gonna, um, they just don't get away from, from what works as far as these manufacturers. They haven't come out with any real exotic different shape. The only real different one that I've ever seen that is, and it's really not even that different, River to Seas one, they've got the bubbles coming through the side of it, which is kind of like the Pop Max from Mega Bass, which is kind of like a half a dozen other ones. So, um, so anyway, um, as far as the sound goes on this one, I actually personally think, and I'm not a connoisseur of a, of a, of a good popper or anything like that. I enjoy a nice popper as much as the next guy, but I'm not out there looking for uh, the next great popper or anything like most people that will buy a $20 um, uh, Labina. But I feel like personally, this one actually has a better sound than the Labina. It has a real nice loud sound like the Labina, but it also has that real nice high pitch rattling sound in it like it i don't have a clear one to show you but it sounds like there's another really small bb in there rattling around and the way it just bounces off the plastic it just makes a real nice resonance and you can definitely hear it in the water here's the labina you can tell the labina has a, a more deeper sound to it here's the striking so the Strike King obviously has the, is the quietest out of the bunch. And there are two things when you're looking at poppers, uh, the performance on the water and uh, that sound. So, and we know that you're, that it has some good performance as far as it'll allow you to chug and do the things that you want it to do and do it multiple times in a row. But it also has a really good sound to it. And that's something that from what I understand, and like I said, I'm not an expert as far as poppers are concerned, but from what I understand, that sound is something that is very, very desirable for, for people that fish a lot of poppers. So uh, let's go ahead and go over the colors here. Um, let's go over this one. This color is called bluegill, and bluegill has that nice, really bright orange with all that glitter on the bottom there. See if we can get a close up for you. See all that glitter down there, and just it almost kind of looks like a perch more than it does a bluegill. Um, the top of it is going to pretty much be inconsequential because the the fish aren't going to see that black on the top. You can see it says "Splash It Too." D I Don Ivino. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, if I'm not, I apologize. But um, you can see that gill there and a whole bunch of scale pattern. All throughout the bait. Really nice looking lure there. This is called bluegill.
This next color is called Grey Ghost Shad. Grey Ghost Shad is pretty much an overall pearl kind of off-white bait. You can see it says Splash It 2 DI on the back. And this one has that, like I said, it has that little bit of a diamond pattern on the side of it that's almost almost embossed in it. That, that was actually a really good look there, right there. Uh, but again, with that kind of rhino lining on the bottom that has all that glitter in it, really cool. Um, definitely something that's going to be uh, uh, eye-catching, hopefully, to the bass. So there's Grey Ghost Shad. All right, guys, so there's my review on the Don Iovino Splash It or Big Splash It or Splash It 2, however you want to say it. Um, very cool lure. I would say of the three uh, that I'm reviewing here in a row, that's probably one of my favorite ones just because it has that really nice sound to it. Um, I don't necessarily care for the chrome hooks. I never really have. That's, But that's not, that's not going to affect the performance of the lure. The, lure, the hooks seem to be very strong. I appreciate the nice uh, dress feather trailer hook that it has on there. That's a really nice one. Uh, in fact, all three, all three baits have really nice trailer hooks on the back. So, uh, so it's a really nice lure, but I feel like this one has the best sound out of all three of them. So if you guys like the video, please hit the like button down here in the lower left corner. I really appreciate that. And stay tuned for the last one. It's the Strike King KVD Splash. Thanks a lot.